In this video, I'll show you how to find out the name of the law that created your agency and, um, and we'll find out how to locate the citations to that law in the United States Code and the statutes at large, as well as to tell the bill number from which that law came. All right. The first step is to find your agency's website. So I am using the Nuclear Regulatory Commission as an example. This is its website. You can just find your agency's website through Google. Um, now, what you want to look for is a history section or an about section. And here we have an about NRC. And you will find information in the about section that's relevant to the questions about the agency head um, and a few other questions within assignment two. For finding out the name of the law that created your agency, I recommend going to the history section if there is one. And in this case, we see that um, before the NRC, it was the Atomic Energy Con Commission. We scroll, scroll, scroll. We see here the Energy Reorganization Act of 1974 created the nuclear Regulatory Commission. All right, so we now have the name and the year of, um, of the law that created this agency. If we go back to our guide, we've completed step one. And now, step two, we need to get from the name of this law to its various citations and bill number. And to do that, we're going to use a resource called ProQuest Legislative Insight. It is linked um, on the guide under step two. Um, and this is where the link will take you. So what you're going to do is enter the name of your law in the search box. So mine is the Energy Reorganization Act of 1974. If you type slowly, you'll see that um, the field will auto populate with options. Um, do be careful here. There are several options. Make sure you've got the correct name and year. So once you've got the right name, hit search. And in your search results, you're going to look for a legislative history of this law. Now, to be clear, in question six of assignment two, you're asked to provide a legislative history. That is not the same kind of legislative history as the ones you'll find here. So you can't use this to answer question six. You can use it to get to the citations that you need. So again, be sure you're looking at exactly the right name and year of the law that you have uh, and click the correct result from the list. And you will see at the very top of this legislative history, a bunch of citations. You can see the public law, uh, the date the law was passed, uh, the number of the bill that was enacted to make this law, the statutes at large citation, um, Congress number and session, and then some US code citations. So a lot of this is exactly what you need um, to fill out your session one worksheet. One thing I will say is that you will want a more precise US code citation. If you recall from the review video at the beginning of this module, you can find the US code citation actually in the text of the public law. So let me show you that. If you um, open the full text of um, your public law here, and FT here means full text. So if you, it will look like this, you can see that um, in the margin, there is a United States code um, citation. And so that's what you're going to be looking for is the um, US code citation um, where um, to the law where your act, uh, where your um, agency was created. Right, so thanks to this ProQuest legislative insight, you should have all of the citations you need to complete your worksheet. So before the second library session, you need to complete this task and you especially need to know the enacted bill number because we are going to be looking at um, 
the legislative process for that particular bill in session two. All right, and that will be it for this video.